while since I've had a visitor as attractive as you, naturally I'm curious what it's about. It's about the last ten years. For the last ten years, you've driven us out of our homes. We've watched our friends cut down right before our very eyes. You even drove us out of the country, where we had to hide in one godforsaken place after another. But no matter how remote, you always managed to find us and drive us out of those places, too. You have left us with nowhere to go, nowhere to hide, and nothing. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you being in here behind these bars? I'm not through yet. You've called the shots for a very long time. Just this once, I want to have my say. When we ran out of options, we came back to Port Charles, even though we knew we might be signing our own death warrants. And then a miracle happened. You decided to let us live in peace. But there was a catch, wasn't there? In order to do that, you had to turn my husband into a killer. Don't lay that on me. He made the choice. Maybe. He can live with it, and so can I. But my son, my son is lying in a hospital bed. He almost died. And right now he is fighting just for the ability to be able to walk again. And it is all because of you. It's enough. It has got to stop. And if you want to make somebody pay, then take me. Not Lucky, not my little boy. I am warning you. I am warning you. Leave my child alone. Docs? No, I wouldn't. Luke, I ran into Damien Smith last night, and he was full of remorse about the fact that his plan was supposed to keep you out of trouble. So why don't you level with me? You were not mugged. Remember when we came to stay with you? Fairly. <laughs> Pretty gruesome experiment, wasn't it? Anyway, you remember I told you that we were safe then, that I wouldn't bring trouble to your door. It was the truth. And it was true because I had agreed to do a little job for Frank Smith. What? Why on earth would you do that? Because he guaranteed Laura and Lucky's safety. And because I thought maybe I could lullaby him into trusting me. Oh, Luke. Why would you do that? To be inside. To know the game, you gotta play it. In order to play the game, you gotta sit where they're dealing the cards. I wanted to be there when Frank either hung himself or one of his associates dropped him for good. You have a lot of courage to come here like this. I'm not doing it to impress you. I'm well aware that you could have had me shot before I even made it to this chair. Is that so? Oh, come on, Mr. Smith. Half the people in this place are on your payroll, maybe more. Are you done now? I'm waiting for your answer, if that's what you mean. I've been rotting in this hell hole for 12 years because of your husband. Forgive me, I have no sympathy for you or your situation. You're not in here because of my husband. You're in here because of who you are and what you've done, and I don't want your sympathy. Well, you better straighten me out then, because I have no idea what it is I'm supposed to be doing for you. I want you to keep my little boy safe. I'm a grandfather. I want all God's children to be safe, but I don't see how I can guarantee that for your boy. Figure it out. You owe us. What? You owe us. My husband saved your life. The man he killed planned to murder you. It's payback time. We've earned our right to walk in the sunshine. 
I can promise you safety and your son, but Luke, that's entirely in his hands. How? If he plays by the rules, stays in line, maybe nothing will happen to him. If you kill Luke, you might as well kill me. And leave your son an orphan? I don't think so. He could have had you blown away. He could have easily let Garfield's man murder you. He didn't do that. He risked his life to save yours and to prove his loyalty to you. What is it going to take? Like I say, it's up to him. You're a real bastard. I admire you, but I think I'm going to have to ask you to leave before you say something you will really regret. regarding Spencer and his family. You okay? I'd feel better if I got what I came for. Well, you did. You're gonna have a little army for you and your son. Frank Smith says he wants to make sure nothing happens to you. I don't want a lot of people with guns to be around my family. You're going to have people with guns anyway. At least these guns are on your side. Where's Lucky? Amy took him to x-ray. I was about to send out the Marines for you. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I'd be so long. Where you been? Uh, well, I went back to the house to get uh, clean PJs and supplies for Lucky. I also got you a clean shirt. I got you your shaving kit. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Stopped by Ruby's, and uh, she's so sweet. She sent along some muffins to give us a break from the hospital cafeteria. Yeah. There's blueberry and corn in there. Good. And then I went to the library, got him some books and magazines to read, and I got him this new backpack, and uh, I stopped by and I paid a visit to Frank Smith. You did what? Are you crazy? You went to prison to see Frank? I asked Sonny to take me over there so that... Sonny? Yes. Don't blame him. I was going to go there with or without him. He just made it a little bit easier for me. Why did you do this? To tell him to keep Lucky out of his unholy mess, to make sure that nothing else happens to my child. Our child. And you are crazy. He must have laughed all the way back to solitary. No, actually, he's assigning two guards to look after us. Sonny tells me two of his best. This is a nightmare. You're telling me. What are we supposed to do? Fix up the spare room for these guys? Don't get sarcastic, Luke. I'm sure it's not going to go on very long just until Frank does whatever horrible thing he's planning next. And do you have any idea what that is, darling? I don't want to dwell on it, but I would imagine it has something to do with getting revenge for Joe Garfield trying to kill him. It's called war, Laura. Mob war. And you have effectively put us right in the middle of it. No, sweetheart. We were already there. I can't believe this. I can't, I can't believe you did this. Do you have any idea how nuts this makes me? Yes. I thought about it. I thought about it long and hard. It was actually one of the more palatable alternatives after I decided that I couldn't leave you. 
Excuse me. That was an option? Most definitely. Especially after what happened to Lucky. But then I... I couldn't bear the thought of tearing Lucky away from his father. And I thought about what it would do to you. What are you saying? That as angry as I was... and am... I couldn't imagine life without you. There is no life for me without you. That's not to say that I don't mean everything else. Luke, I almost went to Sean. And then I realized that it would probably only get you killed. What can I do here? I have no choice except to just ride this out. It will be over soon. It will. I want you to swear to me that you will keep Lucky out of it. I will. I swear. Split tens. Play your own cards. Women. <laughs> what are you gonna do? All right, the little lady. Oh! 20! Great! And the little lady get. Blackjack! Blackjack. <laughs> you're just lucky. <clears throat> <laughs> I'll say, you're the lucky one. Look, this, you're up about a uh, pound and a half of chocolate here. Looks like I make a oh. blackjack. What do you think? What's this, the Las Vegas Ward? Simone! How you doing, Lucky? Pretty good. You mind if I borrow your mom for a while? I'd like to take her someplace. Sure. She has to buy more chocolate anyway. <laughs> take me where? I'm going to go see Mary May War this afternoon. The woman who owned our house? Mm, yep. And I thought you might like to come along. <laughs> Are you kidding? I would love to come along. Um, do you think it'll be all right under the circumstances? Where are you headed? A row house on Charles Street. And Mary May is in one of the safest places I know. Sure, go ahead. I'll hold down the fort. Mm, don't you mean casino? Careful. I hear he's quite a card shark. Oh, Simone, who do you think taught this rascal to deal from the bottom of the deck? <laughs> All right, prepare to lose the farm. Right, gotcha. So tell me about her. What's she like? Oh, you're just going to have to wait and see. I have about a million questions to ask her. And I'm sure she'll answer every single one. <laughs> Good. Okay, dealer shows. Bye, Ace, you, you want to buy insurance? Bye, baby. Mm -hmm. Nah, hit me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Uh,
Oh, Simone, I'm so glad to see you, girl. How you doing? I'm good. Let me introduce Laura Spencer, oh. Mary Mae Ward. Well, Laura, how you doing? I'm very happy to meet you, Mrs. Ward. First of all, my name is Mary Mae. My friends call me Mae Mae. Of course, most of my friends nowadays average about two years old. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love Mae Mae. I like it, too. Laura has been wondering about you and trying to find you and looking forward to meeting you for weeks. Why is that? Well, my husband and I bought your wonderful house on Mill Road. Well, honey, you bought a big part of my life. Oh, please, will you tell me about it? And blackjack, double blackjack. Pretty big douche, Dad. Oh, shut up. <laughs> he always was a sore loser. Oh, no, he's just letting me win. Oh, you think so, do you? <laughs> Highly unlikely. Could I have a few minutes with, uh, Dad? Sure. I'll play solitaire. It's more challenging. <laughs> Look, the fat lady has not even begun to warm up her chops yet. You just hang on. Jesus. I'll be back. <sighs> okay, what's up? Well, I just had a little conversation with your friend Damien Smith. Friend? Hmm. He wanted to tell me again just how sorry he is that you got stuck in the middle of the war on Frank's turf and that Lucky was hurt. And I think he was sincere. So? He talked a little bit about his need to separate himself from his father. And he told me a little bit about how much a legitimate life in Port Charles means to him. It means money, Barbara. A lot of money. Well, of course it means money, but I think it goes beyond that. I mean, why bother to impress me? Out of respect for you, sure, but I think something else was going on. Like what? Well, unless my radar was completely off, and it very seldom is, I think Damien was coming on to me. So you want me to go beat him up? Oh, stop it. I want you to admit that I have just been handed a golden opportunity. You're a happily married woman. Aren't oh, you? Yes, of course I am. But if I were to get friendly with Damien, who knows what I might be able to find out? About what? His level of lechery? About Frank Smith's organization, Luke. I might be able to find out a few things. Like... No way! Luke, listen to me! No, you listen to me. Frank Smith is my problem. Mine, Barbara. You stay the hell out of it. 